Hello, welcome to Coffee with Ken. Thanks for joining us. We have some special guests here today. We have Noah Brown, who we're going to tell you why he's here. We're, we're here with Next Gen. And then we have Annabelle, and she is here talking about Next Gen. We're going to tell you all about it in just a second. And we're here with Carmen O'Quinn. And we're here, where are we? We're in Orlando, Orlando. Florida. Yes. Yes. And so we're here talking about what we just experienced, an amazing weekend, an amazing weekend. And uh, we want to talk about some things because we have some transition that's going on as the last Coffee with Ken, we kind of talked to you, Nathan, who has been leading the next gen. And now it's transitioning to some new leadership, some people that are stepping up. And uh, we're so excited about that. And so we want to introduce you to some. And so we have my son, actually Noah Brown, and uh, he's kind of heading up leading the next gen. And we have Annabelle, who is helping to lead some of the, the younger kids. What age? Kind of 10 to 15. 10 to 15. And um, so we're so excited about that. So we kind of want to just get y'all's um, just input on what on the exciting things that are coming. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about this past weekend and what happened and some exciting things. And we know Carmen led the Next Gen event. And it was amazing. It was yes. so amazing. Yes. And if you're watching and you don't know what First Steps to Success is, it is a three-day event. And uh, we have a th this has been going on for more than 31 years where we equip people from kids all the way up till adults. I think the youngest person in the room was eight, seven, something like that. And the oldest person in the room was in their 70s. And these are people getting equipped, some of them starting their own business, paying off all of their debt, including their mortgage, uh, up leveling, next leveling their people skills, becoming the most likable person, learning how to grow their business, grow their profits. And uh, what always amazes me is how many of the next gen are in the room. Like it's not mm -hmm. just adults. We have, we have next gen kids, teenagers that have started businesses that are out there in the marketplace making things happen. And uh, every Thursday night before First Step starts, we meet in the ballroom and there is a group of hungry kids, teens, young adults who are sitting in the seats ready to learn how to do amazing things on this planet. And you guys are doing that. Like you're not just sitting there talking about it. When you think about what most kids are doing, most people your age, what are most kids doing on a weekend? Playing Sleep. video games. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. Yeah. yeah, and the fact that you guys, I think all the time that what if I would have had the gift of parents who brought me to this mm -hmm. event as a child, and if I would have been equipped with those success skills, how much sooner I could have succeeded. And so mm -hmm. I guess I just want to ask you guys, how was the weekend for you? Like, why do you come to these events called First Steps to Success? Well, um, one of the reasons I enjoy it is I love the fellowship, you know, getting to, um, you know, uh, talk with people and getting to apply the skills that, you know, we've seen on stage, like forming and, and gems and stuff like that, getting to go out and actually, like, apply that. You can do that, that stuff immediately. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one of the things I enjoy and, uh, this community is just always so welcoming and, you know, we're always willing to grow together. So that's one of the big things that I enjoy about it. And I've pretty much enjoyed since day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. The event is amazing. Uh, <laughs> not only do you get to hang out with amazing people your age and um, also older or even younger, uh, you grow so much um, and it works for young people. Uh, you can mm. apply everything and be able to uh, do amazing things right off of ending the event. Yeah. Mm. And you know, it's fascinating. A family, I do believe, a couple that grows together stays together. A family that grows together. Do you feel like your families have gotten closer and tighter since attending the events? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, when I was first attending these events, or before I started really going to the events, I didn't really know my family all that well in terms of their personalities and how to motivate them or even how to communicate with them. Um, and then when I started going to the events, I understood like my gems, who I am as a person, 
uh, I was like super introverted before coming to the events, and I I realized like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> like what? I'm shocked. I know that's surprising like, to hear. Stuff, you're like, what? <laughs> but I I realized that like I had suppressed a lot of my sapphire, and after my first event, I was like, I need to embrace that more because um, a lot of times you know the world tells you like to to yeah. suppress your sapphire, um, and um, me and my mom's relationship got restored. Um, we had gone through a tough couple of months beforehand, and it was the toughest I think our relationship had ever been. But after going to the events, we, we had a lot of great conversations, and I got to understand her a lot better, not just as a person, but as a mom and, yeah. you know, what all that entails. And she got to understand me a lot more, and uh, it, was, it was just really awesome to see our family grow. Um, I got to understand why when I'm having a serious conversation you would put a Captain America mask on? Why are you doing this? Or you would just start laughing or trying to tell a joke. I'm having a serious conversation here. And so just understanding that. So yeah, it did. That's incredible. And I, I love one of the teachings we do at First Steps to Success. It's called GEMS. And it's where we break it down. We teach about four different personalities. And people really are able to understand how they were made mm -hmm. and why we do certain things and other pe people don't. And it, I mean, I don't know if there's one area in life that you can apply GEMS. In your family, in business, at school, getting a job. Mm -hmm. uh, so what about you? What's been your... Yeah, um, so I come from a family with four siblings, so there's definitely a lot of uh, gems. Uh, but truly just uh, understanding, um, you know, my, my sister, who's actually the opposite gem, and then, of course, my other sister, who's super close with uh, Hannah, um, and, of course, the two boys. Uh, but, yeah, just seeing, like, um, how much these events have helped us uh, just become the people we are today. I don't think that I would be the same person uh, looking back. I would not be at the places where I am without the event. Well, what's incredible, too, is seeing the next generation and seeing you guys step up and lead mm -hmm. and being able to be in a community of other like-minded kids and teens and uh, the next gen, because you are our future leaders. You are the future. And it, as a mother, it makes me feel so good to see you guys because you're, I tell my kids about you. I point to you and I'm like, look at what they've done. Mm -hmm. And we've had so many of our next gen start businesses and they're making profits and they're giving to the poor and the needy. And speaking of that, we kind of made an announcement at this event. Yeah. Uh, we, last year in one of the next gen sessions, we taught how to start a business. And we had so many of our next gen go out and start businesses, selling products, like literally going from nothing, creating products like eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, starting businesses, like little entrepreneurs, like mm -hmm. the stuff you see on Shark Tank happening right here inside of the room. And uh, we announced that we were going to be teaching that again at our April event, which is going to be in. I'll let you guys tell them. Go ahead. She was so excited. She was so excited. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Woo! We're coming out here! <laughs> New Mexico! Uh, and uh, we're going to be teaching mm -hmm. how to start a business. So no matter what age your kids are, no matter what age you are, you're going to be able to know literally with no capital how to be able to start a business, where to start, what to do. And then at our July event, we're going to have the next gen marketplace where... The kids are going to have their own little tables and their booths, and they're going to be able to sell their products with the pro with part of the proceeds going to the widow and the yeah. poor. And uh, for King's Ransom Foundation. For King's Ransom Foundation yeah. and amazing organization, 100% goes yes. to cause. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you guys are a huge part of that, mm -hmm. and how this thing has grown. And I want you guys just to think about for a second if someone's watching. And there may be a parent who's been to a first steps or they've been on the fence and they have kids that they haven't brought them because they think, yes, this is just for business and I want to grow my business. What would you say to somebody who maybe has grandkids or kids or nieces and nephews that they haven't brought and they maybe haven't thought about it or they've been on the fence? Definitely come. Uh, when people hear the word conference, they think it's going to be boring. Uh, mm -hmm. They think it's, yeah. you know, for older people, but uh, these events are so fun. Uh, you meet so many amazing people, um, and it truly feels like a family. I mean, mm. as soon as you walk through that door, uh, you're met with the most amazing people uh, on the planet who just want to see you grow and succeed. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I would say I would say come in open minded as well yeah, when you're going into the events because I think oftentimes it's easy to go in and be like, Oh, I just wanna learn the business aspect or oh I just wanna learn the personality aspect, but you never know what you might take away from that mm-hmm. that you never thought was possible mm-hmm. if you just stay open minded to it. Mm-hmm. And uh like that's that's one thing that I took away from that that first event was you know I came in just like oh you know we'll see what happens and um, you know I was truly taken away by the community and just the training and stuff like that so yeah so good so good well what is going on for next gen here with the leadership and uh, what can we expect for the future outside of even the events and the next gen event on Thursday night. It's just amazing. You do such an amazing job leading the next gen and your heart and your passion just pours out into them. And uh, we're so, so grateful for that. And what an amazing event this was um, this last weekend. But really what can we expect for the future for things even outside? Because y'all do really develop your own community with next gen. Yeah, so you know, with the next gen, knowing um, my capacity, I was like, I want, me and Nathan had talked about really bringing in like a ring of leaders Mm -hmm. in the next gen that everyone's focusing on their own different thing. It's not just Mm -hmm. one person taking everything on at once that, you know, we talk about capacity and I think that would send, you know, someone like me definitely would be over capacity trying to take all of that on at once. And so I acknowledge that, hey, we need a team of people with different gems and different skill sets to come in and help. Mm -hmm. Um, And so we kind of set a criteria for like next gen leaders, um, Mm -hmm. making sure that they're, you know, truly committed to this because we Mm -hmm. really want to keep this thing going for the future. Like we want to keep this thing going. We don't want it to ever die out. Um, And so we kind of set up the leadership panel to kind of keep that um, continuing. And, you know, Mm -hmm. we're, we're still, there's still some things that are in the works that we've talked about and we'll have meetings about um, in the future. But overall, it's just, I'm really excited for the future of Next Gen. Like, I think we've got a lot of great things in place. Um, she's taken on the uh, yeah. Tuesday Zoom Annabelle, calls, yeah. <laughs> which really, really helps me out a ton. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be there as well. And really mm-hmm. just, we want to focus on um, accountability, um, when they when they have their sprouts and goals, uh, making sure we're documenting those and holding them accountable to their mm-hmm. to their goals and, and stuff like that, pushing them. So, yeah. I, I want to make sure you caught what he just said. They, so not only is it the events that they're mm-hmm. coming to, yeah. but it's an entire community. So they mm-hmm. host weekly Zoom calls where the kids can plug in and they're talking about their goals and they talk, they're talking about what they've achieved and they're getting encouraged and spurred on yes. and birds of a feather flock together. And so... Mm-hmm. How do they find, like, how do they plug into that? If someone's watching and they've had, this is the first time they're hearing about it. Yeah, so uh, for the Tuesday calls, um, it's 10 to 15. And so you'll get on um, at 6 central time. um, And uh, you'll, you know, uh, we'll have a question of the day. We'll have them go through their spouts and goals, so basically what the, they have for uh, the week, uh, what they want to accomplish, and what they already accomplished, because we're going to celebrate the amazing things that they're doing. Um, so that's Tuesday. Uh, well, we'll have some yeah. information below so they, they can get to yes. next gen and, and get all this amazing information so they can join um, six, you said? Yes, central. Um, yeah, so that they can get on these calls. That's for the youngers, and then... On Thursdays, I have calls for older, 15 and above. Yeah, them. Caleb Snaith will be leading those. Yeah. So super so excited for him to take those leaders. on. leaders. Thank you all for stepping into this. We're so excited what the future holds. And uh, we have, as you already talked about, Carmen, we have a next event. And you already announced where it is. Did we say the dates? <laughs> we did not April. April. Yeah. April. Yeah. April. <laughs> April. So I'll through the 14th. Yes. And that is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The information is below. We would love to have you join as we're talking about this so that, I mean, if young people can get out, I'm pretty sure the older, like, Definitely. whatever age you are, yeah. you can get this information, actually apply it. And so if you want to be at the next event, you want to bring your kids 
to the next event because how exciting is that? Like she's like, she's like coming out of her skin excited. Yeah, <laughs> so, yes. so um, come to the next event. The information is below, and we would love to have you. But thanks for joining us on Coffee with Ken. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for stepping out to <laughs> come on Coffee with Ken, even though we don't have Ken. Where's we Ken? missed you, Ken. We're Kenless today. <laughs> yeah, we're Ken. Like to see the Ken that goes with coffee with Ken. Tune in next yes, week. tune in next week. <laughs> like and share, and we will see y'all next time on Coffee with Ken. Thanks for joining. Bye. <laughs>